Hello, welcome to live session on Parts Pop Up Studio. I'm Janvi. Uh, I can see people waiting already. Uh, in today's live, I'll be discussing about entrance, um, joint application entrance uh, examination, uh, the possible questions, what kind of questions, or what kind of uh, uh, field specific questions, or what kind of sections will be there in the uh, in the examination. So I request all of you, uh, those who join me here and those who put questions there in the chat box uh, to be uh, strictly limited to the entrance examination only. Unfortunately, I won't be able to take any other questions related to study in Finland or, uh, or um, uh, regarding the visa application or residence permit application or anything else other than the entrance examination. And I'm planning to stay live for um, strictly for one hour because of my health issues. Uh, in the first uh, first half, I'll be talking about the entrance examination, the material that I have prepared so that anybody who is watching this video during the live session or after the live will be uh, getting some valuable information about the entrance examination. And then um, on the second half, I will be taking your questions and answering your questions there um, that you have dropped here in the in the chat box. I'm stream, streaming live on TikTok as well, but um, I don't know how many questions can I I can uh, get uh, or, or receive an answer from TikTok because mostly I will be focusing on YouTube. So if you uh, find that you, your questions aren't being answered there on TikTok, then I request you to come to YouTube and drop your questions there. I'll be I'll be um, taking questions from there only. So without wasting time, let's begin with the um, entrance examination uh, information. So the if you have filled in the joint application for um, 2022 um, for bachelor's degree for autumn intake 2022, then your um, you probably have got already got the invitation for the examination or you'll be getting them pretty soon. And you will have to appear um, in an entrance examination. The entrance will take place on 9th of February, that will be the written phase. Uh, the exam will be taking place um, in uh, two phases. The first phase is the written phase and the second phase will be a group interview. So the first phase of the entrance examination will be uh, the written phase and it will be uh, taken on uh, 9th February, uh, 12 p.m. noon, uh, uh, 12 noon <laughs> finish time. So, uh, uh, for the written uh, written examination, um, uh, I have some practical information here. I have taken all this information from the um, uh, website called usinfo.fi. That is the official website for the international US exam. Um, the website was launched in October and officially uh, meant for the, the students, for the counselors, for the teachers, and for the people related to this joint application. Um, the exam is called International U.S. Examination, and it will be conducted in English. Um, um, many of you are, are those who, who have already applied for the um, programs. You, you have already known that uh, IELTS uh, or TOEFL or any other standard English test results were not necessary for the bachelors because you will be um, uh, giving uh, or taking English uh, examination also during the entrance examination. So the entrance examination will include an English test as well. Uh, so it will be uh, an online examination. And uh, like I said, will be conducted in two phases, uh, the written and, this, and the group interview. If you pass the first phase, that is the written phase, then only you will be invited for the group interview. If you fail that exam, then uh, the, the journey ends here and you will have to try next year. You won't be invited for the uh, second phase of the uh, entrance examination, that is the group interview. Uh, the group uh, interview will take place between uh, second uh, uh, March to 16th March, uh, all eligible applicants who have passed the written exam will be invited. So it's written like that. Um, and then the final selection will be based on both of these examination and the scores that you um, that you score during this exam. Uh, the final results will be announced by April 1st. Uh, so if you are selected or if you are not selected, then you will be getting the answers by April 1. But it, if in case you are um, uh, put in the waiting list, what happens is if, if you pass the entrance examination but do not get the, uh, the scores, um, 
enough for being selected then you will be kept on the waiting list so if anybody leaves the place if the position becomes vacant then you will uh, the if the study place becomes vacant then you might get the offer later but for that you may have to wait until the end of uh, july or the beginning of august so um, that means the 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 students should confirm the uh, the study place if anybody leaves the place and the, the the place becomes vacant then that place comes to you so you will have to wait for a little longer but if you are selected or if you are not selected then the the results will be there by april 1st and then the next step will be um, your fee payment as well as confirmation of the study place and then your visa processing begins visa means the, the residence permit uh, you will be applying for a residence permit based on studies and uh, you can apply for the residence permit only when you have the study offer so and your study will begin in august 2022 okay and then as for the sources or the U us info that's that's the official website like i said before uh, no pre-reading material is given or there is no pre-assignments so in the previous years there used to be pre-reading materials you would be given uh, some articles or or reports or things like that at least some pre-reading materials and the questions would be based on that but this year they have omitted all kinds of pre-reading materials and they have said that there is no pre-reading material uh, you will you will have to wait uh, until 9th of February what kind of questions or what uh, what the, the questions would look like but they have mentioned the kind of questions the sections uh, what um, kind of questions field specific questions or what, uh, what 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 you should prepare and what you should look for what what to expect in the examination they have mentioned that so I'm going to mention it in this live session as well so stay tuned um, and they said that uh, this International U.S. exam will test the students' readiness for U.S. studies. Um, uh, they will be testing your motivation, your computer skills for e-learning, your group, uh, group teamwork skills or skills for group work, and then the basic knowledge of the field you are applying for. For example, if you are applying for nursing, then they will be testing the, the, the um, knowledge in the field of nursing. For example, the human anatomy or the mathematics you know you need to know uh, or, or the, the basic um, science, the, the, the information from the science background that you should be, um, be knowledgeable of. Uh, and then the language and social skills to function in a multicultural environment. They focus on this multicultural um, environment or multicultural learning environment because you will be learning or studying with, with the students that have come from all around the world, from different backgrounds, from different cultural backgrounds, from different professional backgrounds or, or, or from the... Uh, from different countries who speak different languages. So, uh, so in order to function in this kind of multicultural, multi multilingual, international setting or the learning environment, you should possess some kind of language as well as social skills, interaction skills. Uh, so they will assess these kind of skills also during this examination. Uh, and then uh, the... the um, Requirements for the exam. What do you need for the exam? The, you will be required to have a computer or a laptop. It is strictly uh, recommended that you do not use your mobile phone or a tablet in order to take the test uh, because that's that's not suitable. Um, so uh, you are required to have a computer or a laptop. And then um, the recommended browser is uh, Chrome, Firefox, or Safari. They have said, and the recommended operating systems uh, is Windows 10, Mac. Um, OS 10.14 or Ubuntu Linux 18.04 LTS. They have written it there. So um, make sure that you have these kind of arrangements in your laptop and then uh, or the computer. And then the use of mouse is recommended if you are using a laptop. Um, and the, the page does not talk about any webcam. So uh, there will not be any web uh, or video camera surveillance or let's say you don't need any webcam um, it's not mentioned and and so far the the uh, message i have received from university um, that i have uh, 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 tried to contact they also mentioned that uh, no webcam is necessary so um, 
yes, you can think about it. Uh, if you have, it's good. If not, even if you do not have, then there is no problem with it. But uh, you should have a secure um, internet connection uh, without interruption and, and then the electricity or make sure that your, your uh, internet connection or the electricity connection works during the examination. Even if, hap if it happens that the, the electricity is cut off or the internet connection is cut off, your time will be running and then uh, you will have to log in again but during that time also your time will be will be running and and uh, you will have to finish your exam in the remaining hours or the remaining time so think about it but in the worst case if it happens that your in internet connection is gone and you, you have to re uh, reload your page or if it comes back again then you don't waste time but just log in and start doing your work um, and then um, for the group uh, group uh, interview, they said that the, the passport or the national ID is needed for the identification. Make sure you have it with you, with you when you take this group interview. I am not sure about the written examination, but anyway, it is good to have you by your side. Have it uh, by your side. And then for the logging in uh, to the written examination, log in via the personal login link that the university uh, or the UAS will be sending you. Um, that is also available in the uh, studyinfo.fi um, and the, the application link when you fill in the application. But in order to log in the studyinfo.fi, um, you will need mobile identification or the Finnish banking credentials. So if you do not live in Finland, then it may not be able to, I mean, it may not be um, uh, feasible for you, but you can log in uh, via the link that the university sends you as an uh, invitation for the uh, examination. Uh, and then you will need a login PIN code. The PIN code is the code that you have inserted there in the form. You you. I'm sure you know that you were asked to insert this code, um, PIN code there of, of five letters, uh, uh, five uh, uh, characters. So you will need that uh, that code in order to um, uh, log into the link. If you have lost the, the code or if you do not remember, then uh, make sure that you, you connect um, contact the university in, in well in advance and then... Um, then find out the code for you. So you will not be able to log in uh, without that code. Um, it is said that the, the link will be sent to you by 7th February and it should be functioning. Uh, and then, um, like I said before, a reminder again, the written examination will be on 9th February and then the group interview will take place between 2 to 16th March. I'm talking about the joint entrance examination only. There are universities that take separate application and they have their own exams and they have their own dates for the exam. So if you have applied for this separate um, uh, admissions, then you have to follow the instructions given to you by the uh, university that that you have applied to so today i'm focusing only on the joint uh, uh, examination that is the international u.s examination um so what uh, will be the the first phase of the exam be like now uh, let's let's look at this uh, the the first phase would be the written exam and there are five di different sections for it um there is one common section and then the other is the field specific section for the common section that's for all everybody who is uh, attending this us exam regardless of what programs you have applied to and uh, regardless of the number of programs that you have applied to you would have applied on to, uh, up to six different uh, universities and six, six different programs but regardless of the number of programs that you have applied to you will be sitting for only one entrance examination so um, all the students who have applied for this joint application would be sitting for this common section the common section includes two uh, two sections first is reasoning skills uh, that will be for 20 minutes and then the other one is the uh, english language skills and that will be for 15 minutes and then the remaining three uh, sections will be mathematical skills that will be for 20 minutes. And this will be for the students who are appearing for the test uh, for the degree programs like nursing, technology, business and management, tourism and hospitality, social services, humanities and education. So you will be taking this uh, mathematical uh, skill section uh, where you will be um, 
you will be taking uh, answering mathematical questions they will be assessing your mathematical skills here and then the other section will be advanced mathematical skills and that will be for 30 minutes and this is for the IT as well as the engineering students for others those who are applying for example nursing or tourism and hospitality or let's say business they do, do not do not have to um, uh, take this uh, advanced mathematical skills uh, and then the fifth will be ethical skills and that will be for um, uh, for social services, nursing, sports, and humanities or education. And then there is one more uh, section for the Finnish, uh, Finnish skills or Swedish skills. And uh, this, is, um, this is for those students who have applied for the um, uh, degree programs like uh, nursing or social services uh, in the universities that require you to have Finnish language skills right from the beginning so not all the universities uh, of applied sciences require you to have swedish or finnish language skills right from the beginning you can uh, start your studies with your english and then uh, during the the course of time or during the studies you will be learning swedish or finnish um, as your study progresses but there are certain universities like in the universities in helsinki for example metropolia and then diakonia also for nursing uh, uh, arkada and then laurea these are the universities that require Finnish or Swedish language skills from the very beginning of the admission. So in these universities, if you are appearing for these uh, uh, universities, appearing in the exam for these universities, then you are required to uh, go for this uh, Finnish or Swedish language test also. Um, Uh, so uh, here I would like to re revise again uh, according to the uh, according to the degree programs that you have applied to, where you need to um, uh, to take these uh, sections. For example, for nursing, you will be taking reasoning skills, English language skills, uh, mathematical skills, and ethical skills tests. So there will be these sections for you uh, for business management, business or management, uh, reasoning skills, English language and mathematical skills. You will be taking these three uh, for information technology or the engineering um, uh, field. You will be taking reasoning skills, English language uh, tests, as well as uh, advanced mathematical tests. Um, so these will be the sections for you. Uh, and regarding the timing of the of the test, each section has its own completion time. You can start or open the section in the order you want, but then once you open that, you will have to finish the exam and then only go to the next section because you won't be able to go back to that section again. So once you open it, then that's done. So you, you, once you open it, you finish it, and then uh, you go to the next section. But there is no uh, no order of preference to to uh, start the uh, the section. You can start with any section you want, but it must after it is open when the time is up the section closes automatically and the final draft is saved as your final answer and you cannot return to that section later so please keep this in mind and and th there will be a clock or timer there on the upper upper side or some somewhere there in the screen so please take care of that also now let us uh, let us talk about what uh, kind of questions will be will be there in these these sections what what does this these common sections uh, questions like reasoning skills uh, tests or or um, the reasoning skill uh, exam will look like so the reasoning skills means the, the skills that uh, that includes the critical thinking skills like analysis or evaluation or creative thinking or logical thinking it also invo involves problem solving, so uh, it it needs um, it requires you to use your your logic, your senses, your uh, your creativity, and and your um, reasoning. So it, that will be based on the 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 observation that will be based on the facts you will give, you will analyze the facts that's given or the diagrams or the or the pictures. So for example, I, I think the, this this is. Um, Something that one learns from the very, very early stage of, of our lives. Uh, uh, for example, a small child creating a, a Lego Lego uh, structure from Lego pieces. That's that also needs the 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 um, logical as well as problem solving skills. So. Uh, it, it requires your imagination and then your observation. So what what pieces go where and what kind of shape that it that that 
um, that produces uh, and filling in the puzzles also or the or filling in the sudokus the, these kind of uh, activities they require your your logical and uh, reasoning skills so the, it it requires your your observation you are finding different for example finding differences in the pictures they are very simple they can be simple and they can be complex too but then uh, the the simplest examples are the the children's um, uh, pictures where you can find the differences or what's wrong in the picture so finding mistakes in the pictures also or filling in the jigsaw puzzles these are the examples these are the simplest examples of this this logical and and reasoning reasoning skills riddles for example um i have one example for you here what can run but not walk or what has a mouth but can't speak um uh let me answer the, the question for you I'm, i don't have much time to uh, to have a discussion and get your answers it would be fun but because of the limitation of time let me give you the answer so the answer is a river uh, it's a kind of word play also a river can run but can't walk isn't it a river runs through the valley isn't it um mm, so and then the creative thinking uh thinking part it it requires you to think creatively for example what would happen if all the animals in the world disappear it 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 demands you to use your mind and and think uh, it demands you to analyze the the in the given given facts given um uh information that you already have and then come to the conclusion draw a conclusion from that for example um, why does the form get uh why does the form why did the form go bankrupt so in order to find out these things you will need to need to um analyze the facts related to the related to the to the form isn't it or how could say how could they reach the target so quickly so in order to find this out you will also have to have to um use your reasoning skills use the use the um available data or the available resources you have and then analyze and draw conclusions from that so these kind of things um so coming to rational conclusions based on objectives uh, objective analysis of the problem or observation analyzing questioning skills these uh, these are the kind of kind of skills that will be tested um for the logical uh, logical um, logical skills or the logical questions um the the questions of of series and sequences they are quite important uh, what kind of you will be given some some figures and what kind of the figure will will be uh will be the next that the question would be would be there so you you need to uh, use your observation skill see the see the the, the kind of uh, diagram that's given to you and find out what comes next for example the the simplest form of the of the series uh, i would like to give here for example 2 4 6 8 what comes next um so the answer would be 10 because the difference between these numbers is 2 isn't it so 1 3 6 9 what comes next 12 so because the the difference between the the, the um, numbers or the digits is is 3 so these are the simplest forms uh, i wouldn't uh, mean that these kind of questions or these these sim- these simple questions would be there but then um uh, but then <laughs> uh but then um uh, these kind of questions are the examples that i'm giving okay i'm i'm getting <laughs> some kind of response from here that uh, they are not i mean dile uh, hamro reply dinu hunna don't worry i will be replying your questions also but like i said in the beginning i'm going to talk about the entrance examination i'll finish talking everything that i have prepared for so that you can uh, later also come back to this video and then uh, then get the important information so uh, don't worry i'll take your questions as well but please keep your questions limited to entrance examination only um once i finish what the the entrance examination will will cover then i will be taking your questions as well but then what am i what i am speaking is also very important because it's everything that i'm talking about uh, now is is related to the entrance examination don't worry this is important stuff too um and then so this this is for the reasoning skills next for the english uh, english tests uh, your reading and writing will be tested during the written phase and then the the speaking and listening will be tested in the group interview so in the in the um, in the written examination your uh, you will be uh, needed to to um, read 
and interpret the texts given there. So it's possible that you will get some comprehensive uh, comprehensive text there, uh, comprehensive exercise, and then being based on the, the text that you read, uh, you might be asked to answer the questions, simple question answers, or it could be true or false, or it could be fill in the blanks, or it could be pre pre producing a little longer text based on that reading material. And then for the writing, uh, you would be asked to produce a, uh, uh, an essay or a short text uh, of um, certain characters or certain words, for example, 200 words or 500 words or how, how, how much they will say. So um, it will depend on the, the, the question, but then you will be uh, asked to create a little longer text. And uh, what I have seen during these uh, past years, as well as I have seen some questions related to um, business that took place um, on the 26th of January for the Sena York University of Applied Sciences, uh, I have seen that they have this this um, tendency of asking the or, or merging the questions for for the field specific field specific uh, section as well as the English section where they will be testing your English skill at the same time and as well as the Finnish uh, sorry the field specific skill at the same time. So the question was um, in a global situation or in a global business situation the um, one of the greatest challenges is the intercultural communication. So um, write about your own experience or the, the thing that you have yourself experienced or you you, you can uh, you may possibly um, encounter in 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 future where uh, the intercultural communication uh, is is important and how this intercultural communication skills that you have or the uh, that you gain within this uh, study will help you to deal with these uh, these um, these kind of challenges in the global business scenario so by asking this question they already uh, asked your uh, business uh, field related uh, um, they already want to assess your field related skills that is the skills related in the business scenario as well as they you will have to write the answers in english so they will also be assessing your writing skills <laughs> writing skills as well in english so these kind of questions may may come so you can think about it in that angle as well um and then uh, the the writing could be, for example, uh, creative uh, writing creative paragraphs like a brief introduction about yourself, about your educational background, about your experiences, uh, why you have chosen this program, what happens, uh, uh, or what what you will gain after this degree. So what, how do you see yourself in in ten years time, or what, in what way this program will help you to to achieve your goals, um, or why Finland or what are your extents or weaknesses as a student or as an employee and then um, describe yourself as an international student student learning in an intercultural study environment so this kind of thing these kind of questions uh, may also come i i don't mean that 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 these questions will 100 percent be there but then these are the kind of questions that are probably uh, be there in your question um, paper or, or it won't be the paper it would be online but then your questions or you can uh, think about it in this this way as well so practice the the re reading as well as writing uh, writing um, uh, exercises that are uh, available in the internet also for example the British Council uh, has a very good uh, sources or the or the exercises there in their website for for practicing reading writing listening and speaking um, uh, based on different levels they have a1 a2 uh, b b1 b2 levels so you can start from the beginning i mean beginners level and then go uh, go uh, a little um, go forward to a little advanced level and try uh, try uh, practicing your your english skills there all uh, reading writing listening and speaking and then so i have now dealt with these two two sections now remaining is the third one the mathematical skill section that is necessary for the uh, business as well as management or the nursing as well as social services as well as this um, humanities and education uh, fields so this will be the basic maths 
the school math, uh, the high school math, let's say, the basic calculations like percentage, like uh, first degree equations, like interests or taxes or uh, the, the simple geometry and then uh, logical reasoning questions, um, uh, logical math, like I said in the beginning, uh, and then ratio or fraction, decimals, um, and what else? The conversions, mass, volume, uh, the conversions, for example, converting uh, microgram to milligram, uh, microgram to kg, or, or CL to DL, or um, milliliters to liters, so these kind of conversions. Uh, and then interpreting the tables and diagrams, uh, these kind of basic maths will be there for the uh, mathematical skills for um, for if you are appearing for the examination for business or tech, uh, business or management or nursing social services or or education or humanities and then uh, for the uh, advanced maths there will be you can use calculator also uh, they have this section for the use of calculator there in the us info you can go through it um, and then uh, for this this advanced mathematical skill section you are required to have a little tougher math uh, more advanced mathematical skills uh, for example reducing rational expressions solving equations geometry trigonometry then there could be physics the physical phenomena and calculation formulas and then interpreting the charts and graphs and diagrams and but this will be much more advanced uh, than the school uh, high school maths so be prepared for that and in these uh, sections there will be negative marking also so if you give a wrong answer then that will uh, uh, that will uh, give you a negative marking so that will uh, just um, minus the points that you have already gained so it is possible that you you leave the answer unanswered uh, but think about it so it's uh, sometimes it's better to leave the question unanswered than answering it uh, incorrectly but you it's you who decide so please be very careful while answering the questions or submitting the answers there and then the the last one is the ethical skill uh, <clears throat> ethical skills uh, the ethical skills are the the usually the the students that are appearing the, the examination for nursing and social services as well as the education and humanities they will be facing this this test and this, they'll be appearing in this test uh, but ethical skills is, is important for other profession as well because uh, every profession has its professional ethics so um, it's it's important to to take note of or, or be be very aware of the the ethics of your own profession uh, so it's the skills in recognizing the ethical nature of the statements are assessed um for example what you would do in certain kind of situations for you would be given situations and then they would be asked what you would do in in these kind of situations so these kind of ethical skills always um covers the areas like customer care ethics of the profession or the, the the values that are involved in your profession equal treatment of clients for for example everybody is is equal regardless of gender race or nationality these kind of things and then the autonomy of the clients the, the decision to choose um, or decide on their own matters for example if you are a nurse or a, or a doctor you can't just force your your uh, your decision on the patient because the patient has his or her own right to decide on the matters uh, matters um, concerning them mm. uh, so as well as the teamwork with other professionals your accountability towards the job that you or the profession that you uh, that you are involved in in the respect of clients values and decisions or their confidentiality and data protection the the, the protection of data you are not supposed to disclose the the, the data or the uh, conf confidential matters of your clients of your or your patients or your or the clients to somebody else that's that's the a breach of uh, that's also a criminal offense in, in many cases, but then that's, that comes in the ethical um, aspects as well. So be be very conscious about this kind of uh, these kind of things. So you your your ethical skills will also be tested during this examination. Mm, yes, and then regarding the Finnish or the Swedish skills, it's it's also it's similar to the English test, but that will be in the in the Finnish uh, Finnish side. So you will be uh, you you will be tested in terms of speaking, uh, listening, reading, and writing 
but that will be uh, related to the Finnish or the Swedish language. You may be asked to, to uh, create a small text in Finnish or Swedish. Uh, you may be asked to read the text as well as and then answer the questions given there or write true or false uh, against the statements or give, uh, uh, or fill in the blanks or something like that. But again, uh, related to Finnish or Swedish language. And then the group interview. A group interview is for those who pass the written test. Um, only one group interview, regardless of study options, according to study fields. The highest study programs among the ones in which that are passed uh, will be um, uh, will be invited uh, for the uh, group interview. Uh, the university will inform you about uh, one approximately one week ahead of your of your um, group interview date. So uh, keep following their their uh, emails. And then in the group interview, there is no one way to prepare for this group interview because they, like I said in the beginning, also your social, your language, your interactions, your teamwork skills will be tested in this. So here, uh, according to the US info, it's written that it includes a group discussion of about four applicants, four participants. So four participants will, other participants will also be the applicants like you, but they could be from different countries um, or people from different, uh, applying to different universities than you. And um, in the group discussion, you will be given a topic for discussion and you will be discussing that topic among the, the participants there. And after the discussion, you will be asked, each student will be asked to produce a short essay type text, maximum of 2000 characters. So here, when they say characters, then you should think about the question mark as well as the full stop, as well as the space also, be careful with that. Try not to exceed the, the maximum characters or the maximum words if they have mentioned it, or try not to make it too less also. So practice beforehand, how many words can make a, a decent looking paragraph. So practice beforehand so that you'll have a general idea that how much you will need to write uh, for, for the questions they have asked when they say 2,000 words or 200 words or 2,000 characters when they say you have the general idea of how long the paragraph should be. Um, and then the duration will be 60 minutes. Uh, maximum scores will be 40 points and pass score will be 8 points. And the, uh, and for the English te text that you produce, it will be graded as pass or fail. There will be no numbers for the English uh, portion um, when they are testing the English portion. Um, that will be pass or fail. And then um, it will also assess your listening and speaking skills as well as how you interact within uh, within the group with the other participants, uh, your conflict solving skills, if any conflicts arise or how you provide your opinions. If you disagree with some, uh, some uh, other applicants or other participants, how you put forward your own opinion, what kind of words you use, what kind of structures, are you always negative or are you more affirmative while produ producing your, are you, I mean, while putting forward your ideas or opinions. So how uh, how uh, respectful you are when you are opposing somebody else's ideas. So these kind of things all matter. So be very careful when you uh, go, go for the uh, interview. Uh, and your teamwork also, how, how your teamwork skill will be, will be uh, assessed there. Um, because in Finland, the, the um, you are required to do a lot of teamwork while studying also. There will be group works where the students will be working in groups, uh, making, um, uh, I mean, actively participating participating in discussions and then coming to the conclusions and preparing slides presentations and presenting the the work as a whole group so and then the the whole group will be evaluated for the for the um, final evaluation also so it is very important that you have these kind of group work skills and while in your, in your work field also later on after you graduate there are uh, certain professions where you'll be working in a multi-professional team for example if you are a social worker then then you'll be working with a with a team of a very um, elaborated team of, of various professions like psychologists or the school teachers as well as the the um, speech therapist or something so, somebody so 
it's a, it, it demands a lot of uh, teamwork skills. That's why they want to uh, assess these skills, these kind of skills also in the students, if you have them or not, or if you have the possibility to grow them or not, or learn them or not. So these are the things that you should prepare for uh, for the group interview. All right. So now these are the things that um, that I wanted to share on my part. Now I'm going back to the the questions that you have left uh, left here um, one by one. Like I said in the beginning, I'll be skipping all the questions that are not uh, related to the topic today. That means if it is not related to the entrance examination, I'm not going to take it today. Uh, it's been 40 minutes. I, I, I plan to do it, finish it in 30 minutes and then the remaining 30 minutes for the questions, but uh, never mind. Uh, I'll, I'll quickly take the questions. Hello, it's me, Pradeep. Hi, Pradeep. Welcome. Um, Manisa Gaire. Hello, ma'am. Hello, Manisa. Welcome. Hari Karel. Welcome. Good afternoon. Meru Taili Samma Mail Asena. Okay. Uh, you you will be getting the emails. They have said that they, the the universities will be sending you the email by uh, invitation by seventh of uh, latest by the seventh of of uh, February. So it's fourth today, fourth uh, of February. You can you can still wait, or if you do not uh, receive it by seventh, then you can um, also write to the university that you have applied to. Hey, I haven't received anything. What's going on? Uh, I haven't got any alerts. Okay, so mm, you might be getting it or you might have already got it. Sometimes it ends up in your other folder or sometimes it ends up in your spam or, or junk folder also. So go and check them as well. Uh, Sonu, hello, namaste, namaste Sonu. I have a video here. Okay. All right, uh, Lavangi, can I know the pass marks for the written examination? So uh, the pass marks are given there in the uh, um, US Info website. Let me let me um, let me read it out from here. So I'm not going to repeat this question again. So please listen to me carefully. If you also have the same um, same question. So it has been it has been mentioned that for the reasoning skills the maximum score is twenty and the minimum pass score is five. Uh, for English the maximum score is twenty and the minimum pass score is seven. For mathematical skills it's the maximum is twenty and the minimum pass score is five. Um, and for the advanced mathematical skills the minimum is two. The pass score is two and uh, the maximum score is twenty. And then for the ethical skills, the minimum is eight. So the pass score is eight, uh, maximum score is 20. So the maximum you can score out of this is 20. And then the minimum is eight. And then for the Finnish language as well as Swedish language, uh, that's the maximum is 20 and the minimum is eight again. So this is the um, index. And remember that it is not uh, not only uh, enough to get the pass marks uh, in order to be selected in the university because there is a very very fierce competition this year. Um, if you have uh, followed my Facebook uh, page, the the Facebook page of Arts Pop Up Studio, I have posted there that there there were news in the Ule uh, Ule news that um, this year the university admissions for the university admissions uh, the the number of applicants uh, are are way too higher and. The, uh, for example, one student may need to um, um, fight with 54 uh, other applicants in order to get one study place for one program. So it, it's it's going to be very tough, and it's not only enough to score the pass mark. So your target should be scoring on the higher, uh, among the highest scoring uh, participants. Okay. Can, uh, okay, hello ma'am, I've applied to two different courses in joint application, how will be the exam? I have to give one or both, uh, it will be one, but then the, the questions will be uh, related to all, all of your fields. I don't know how they are going to manage this, but then they have uh, mentioned that regardless of the um, number of degree programs that you have applied to, you'll be sitting for one examination. Uh, broken kun course apply or they hope this is not for me your soul I almost attempted more than half questions but I failed entrance exam of Arcada and CM 
you were so sorry to hear that but then you tried so you have experience for others uh, if you have applied to um, to some more uh, and then uh, try next year then there is always a way out uh, lavangi jay sekara hi madam can i know the time period for the exam so i mentioned it in the in the beginning uh, let me quickly re- uh, tell it for you for the reasoning skills it's 20 minutes for english language it's 15 minutes then the uh, mathematical skills it's 20 minutes and then advanced mathematical skills it's 30 minutes uh, ethical skills it's 10 minutes and finnish or swedish language skills it's 30 minutes so um, plan uh, answering the questions accordingly you can find this in uh, uh, information in usinfo.fi i have mentioned the website there in the very beginning of the chat so check it there as well um <clears throat> it's quite hard to pass the entrance surprisingly i thought it might be easy <laughs> okay so you have learned your lesson uh, all about you anyone have applied in mechanical engineering in bachelor degree is there any university without entrance for tourism uh, for technology field there there is uh, this uh, possibility to uh, get admitted without entrance examination but you need to have sat scores for you uh, with you sat results you need to take sat exams and you have you need to have sat results with you um, uh, they have their own requirements the the, the minimum accepted uh, scores for sats also so it's possible for technology but i don't think for tourism there is any uh oh, carmila sai hello di hello carmila welcome binod pokhrel where do you stay in finland i live in helsinki um belinda bullet bullet chelva hello welcome i received my link today congratulations and all the best for your examination they say no using tablet or phone yes that's true uh samik sir try kati time ko huncha exam so i let i told i answered this question for the uh, user who had asked before so please repeat the uh, <laughs> video uh, and and listen to the question uh, or maybe you have already got the answer to to sargon is all about you i have applied okay hari khadal ke ma ayo bro link mero ta aako chaina ta okay d can you elaborate on ethical and reasoning i did it uh, carmila please go and check this uh, solution must be sent or um, mcq only uh, so far i know in the computer there is no space to write the the um, uh, solution so you just click in the uh, the submit the right answer for the the, the multiple choice questions um, this is what i think uh but you you use your presence of mind when you submit it there um but for written task you will have to write uh, right there uh you don't need to show the solutions okay um tayari garo hai guys questions ekdam easy huncha but pass huna garo maile sab question garao tara khai kina fail bhaye okay that's a very uh, wise tip for <laughs> other students appearing in the examination um uh mail check garnu sabai ko aako cha hola okay and di le hamro reply dinu hunna see i'm replying your answers now bro sabai garera hola tara right bhayera bhayena hola ra ta feel bhayo okay uh check on the email or the spam like i said uh 20 ma 12 ta jati right thyo bro कंपिटिशन धेरे भर फेल भाग हो छ क्लास को सीम्पल क्वेश्चन थी सब रे ओके ऑल राइट सो दिस काइंड अफ डिस्कसन अल्सो विल गिव इन साइड टू मेनी अफ यू हियर आई गिव माई एक्जाम अभी सजिलो थी बाहर तो बाहरवटा मत कई भाई तो ट्वेंटी वटा नहीं होने होने रो <laughs> I give my exam on 25th January saying I okay university when comes my results uh, that uh, maybe the university will let you know uh, or maybe um, they have already mentioned it there in the website it should be there by March I guess your um, 20 ma 20 na milaunu parcha ra okay nitesh can you give me your instagram id um ke bhanera aako sa bro bhana ta okay so this is so fun to read your comments here it's not for me all right writing and reading only in 15 minutes how can this be possible i don't know it, it could be it, it, the, maybe you will be required to write um, only a very short paragraph um maybe it won't be that difficult as well 
is it's it's the time for english exam enough to write an essay um so when writing an essay you you just uh, read the question first uh, think about what the question has actually asked for don't start writing long introduction or something like that just see the requirement there if you are required to write only uh, 6000 characters or if you are required to write only 250 words or 500 words then you don't need to write long uh, essay so be careful about the instruction there read the instruction carefully what you are asked for write write that one uh right what is expected only so if they have uh, mentioned that the the time is for 20 minutes only then i'm sure that the time will be sufficient enough to the question to answer the question that they give because they know what they uh, expect uh is this time okay um 20 minutes time and 20 marks counts up anji kati ota aula we can do the exam in mobile or not you know you can do do it it is strongly recommended that uh you have a computer or a laptop with internet connection and with electricity uh, or the charge um no reply ma hola your login link one era tha why does anybody receive the mail if yes from which university we need to click photo from mobile bro why we need to click photo because we can't see the passes after you see once okay in english exam have any essay yes uh, yes you will have like i said in the beginning also it could be uh, purely some some um mm, some essay uh, to assess your english skills and sometimes it can also be um, merged with the field specific question so that they they test your english skill as well as your skills in the field, in the specific field at the same time with the same essay so it is possible to Mm. um will i be recorded during exam that i don't know and i think it you won't be recorded uh, but that i don't i can't say for now ma'am how to get job in post delivery news delivery job uh, i am really very sorry because i'm not going to answer this question now because let us keep this focus to the entrance examination only i'm going to uh, end this live soon i had uh, almost one hour time so it's time is running out um please join my other live sessions where we will be again discussing about uh, finding jobs or uh, studying in finland or or applying for a residence permit based on study or family ties or something else um but then you can try the internet that's all i can say for now or you can try uh, with the the contact that you have in finland or your friends friend circle to recommend you to the workplaces or to their bosses uh binod pokhrel hars are you in finland now madam please explain the ethical skills questions that i did in this video please go and check the video uh, i mean did this live again um which entrance section should you appear for bba bbit so for 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 bba that should be reasoning skills um and then the mathematical skills as well as english skills i am not sure about the ethical skills but be pre- prepared for that one as well be be acquainted with the ethics of your your profession um the ethical skill is mostly um uh, tailored for the students from the nursing uh, social services or humanities or education field so and then for bbit since this is technology involved so maybe you will be uh, required to take the advanced mathematical skills test also aryal divas hello english ko written exam questions kasto huncha batauno na ek dui ta questions jasto english ko chai aba tapai lai tapai le english ma lekhnu paryo ani alikati creative khalko passage lekhne khalko essay lekhne khalko jasto questions huncha ani tesma chai aba tapai lai purely english matlab literature athwa english sang sambandhit matra pani sodhna sakcha athwa maile agi bhane jastai tapai field specific study questions sang milaera sodhina pani sakcha jasto agi global business ko scenario diera timle inter cultural communication ma afnai skills haru ke kasto cha timro tyo skills haru kati bela kaam aunu sakcha kasto khalke challenges haru encounter garnu sakcha 
भनेर सोधे थियो हैन त्यस्तै गरी त्यसमा अब उले दुईटै कुरा हेर्ने भयो बिजनेस सँग बिजनेस फिल्डको उसको एक्सपर्टिज उसको नलेज पनि हेर्ने भयो अनि त्यसमा सँगसँगै इंग्लिस ल्याङ्ग्वेजको पनि टेस्ट त्यसैमा हुने भयो तर फेरि इंग्लिसको लागि छुट्टै कुनै एउटा टपिकमा चाहिँ फर अर अगेन्स्टमा दिने हुन सक्छ जस्तो इट कुड बी फर एक्जाम्पल लाइक इन द आयल्स टेस्ट यू मे बी आस टु गिभ युअर ओपिनियन फर अर अगेन्स्ट अ स्टेटमेन्ट फर एक्जाम्पल सुड म्युजियम्स बी फ्री वट इज युअर ओपिनियन अबाउट इट सो हियर यू कैन राइट राइट युअर ओपिनियन यू कैन यू यू टेक वन साइड अफ द स्टेटमेन्ट एंड देन यू गिव युअर ओपिनियन बट वाइल राइटिंग दिस काइंड अफ दिस काइंड अफ uh it says i recommend that you write uh, you take the side of which you know uh, how to express the best uh, you, whichever vocabulary whichever part or whichever side you have enough vocabularies you have enough um, uh, sentences or statements that to cover or to um, um to back back up for so you go with that there is no right or wrong in these kind of sentences uh, these kind of statements museums in your opinion museums can be free museum can't be free so it's you who decides uh, but then while deciding decide on the side that you can write well so it doesn't matter whether you say okay it should be free or it shouldn't be free nothing is wrong or nothing is right you can back up for both of these statements but then be uh, or choose the one that you can write well for if you have good vocabulary or not think about it and then write the answers uh hari kharel does business it includes advanced math i think so um manisa gaire thore bhaye pani nepali ma padai dinu na please di please hajur kun visa ma janu bhayeko ni di आई केम टू स्टडी मेपाली में भन्न पे मैं पढ़ना आक हो टू थाउजेंड इलेवेन में मस्टर्स पढ़ना आक भाषा यूनिवर्सिटी में इट्स बीन टेन इयर्स दैट आई एम नाउ लिविंग इन 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 फिनलैंड तर मैं स्टडी पर्मिट में आक Hi, uh, Gianna. Gianna. Okay, everything is easy, guys. Maybe a little hard with be will be maths and physics. Yes, could be. How expensive is Helsinki, ma'am? Uh, like I said, I'm not going to answer these kind of questions today because of the limitation of time. Let us keep this uh, strictly limited to the entrance examination only. Please join my live again, and we'll be discussing all these things. Don't take it um, the other way round. No, um, uh, no offense, please. अलिसा प्रसाद हेलो अलिसा वेलकम जोइंट को एंट्रांस पच्चीस सेपरेट को लगी फर्म भरना मिले टू वरिड यस यू कैन डू दैट सेपरेट भाई सेपरेट हो सो इट्स सेपरेट फ्रम अल अदर एप्लीकेशन यू कैन डू दैट इफ यू वांट तर एक्जाम से फेरी दून पर्च यू हेव टू टेक सेपरेट इक्जामिनेसन फर सेपरेट एप्लीकेशन पीटी एक्सेप्टेड कि छेन फिनलैंड में पीटी एक्सेप्टेड इट्स इजी टू आंसर इट दिस वे Pretty accepted, sir. But please check the requirements. Language exam is necessary for all faculty or for nursing only. It's necessary for everything because you won't be. Uh, they they didn't ask you for the language test results, so it is necessary for all the fields. That's why it's in the common section. Um, Bhuvan Thapaliya, same sample questions. But how no nursing course? So there are no sample questions as such because, like I said in the beginning, or the, like it is mentioned there in the US info, there is no pre-reading material on. on the in, in this year's uh, examination no pre reading material is uh, provided previously there used to be pre reading materials and the questions would be based on the pre reading materials for the maths they would be more or less the same like i discussed in the video in the earlier part of this video please go and check the the uh, kind of questions that may uh, come that may appear in your tests regarding the maths as well as the um, other sections Sorab Sharma Hello Sorab uh, Social Services ko lagi mathematics exam is compulsory ma'am eti bujnu man thyo basic maths chai chaincha basic maths ko exam chai dinu parcha social services ko le pani not the advanced one jivan dahal hello di mero arkada ko group discussion feb 7th ma cha they have fixed the time at 10 to 11 am yo 10 to 11 am time bhaneko what is the exact time in nepal ti 10 11 bhaneko chai 11 12 1 pone 2 hunu parcha 
तर तपाईले मोबाइलमा चाहिँ वर्ल्ड क्लकमा चाहिँ फिनल्यान्डको टाइम यो सेट गर्नुस् सो द्याट विल गिभ यु दि एक्ज्याक्ट टाइम पौने दुई हुनुपर्छ दसदेखि एघार भने पौने दुईदेखि पौने तिन हुनुपर्छ नेपालमा अहिले यो टाइम भनेको सो हाई फनी कमेड हेलो योर सोल जीवन दहाल अर्काडामा पास भएको बधाई छ फिनल्यान्डको टाइम नेपालको भन्दा थ्री आवर्स थ्री आवर्स जति पछाडि हुन्छ वर्ड वर्ल्ड क्लक क्लक ओके मिना ओलेन सन्जोग थापा हेलो सन्जोग थापा वेलकम मोय हाउ इज लाहती फर स्टुडेन्ट्स हाउ फ्रिक्वेन्ट आर पार्ट टाइम जब्स इन लाहती सेन्स आई हेज आस्ड लाइक आई सेड मल्टिपल टाइम्स आई एम नट गोइंग टू टेक एनी अदर क्वेश्चन अदर दैन दी एंट्रांस रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन सो आई एम भेरी सरी वी कैन डिस्कस दिस क्वेश्चन लेटर अन इन माई अदर अपकमिंग लाइफ सेसन सो प्लिज जोइन मी अगेन फर दिज इफ यू हेव एनी क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दी एंट्रांस एक्जामिनेसन प्लिज ड्रप दम हियर Asta Thapa, do you need to know Finnish language to attend the exam? If you are, unless you are attending the the nursing or the social services um, programs exam for Arcada or for Diaconia or for Laurea or Metropolia, then no. Uh, so your university will let you know about it um, if you are required to have this Finnish test also. Uh, Ma'am, you skipped my question above. So what was the question? Can you please write the question again? Uh, because there are not much questions left. So, Binod Pokhrel, can you please write the question again? Ma'am, I'm like the 12 o'clock. I'm like the 12 o'clock. I'm like the 12 o'clock. But I'm like the 12 o'clock. I'm like the 12 o'clock. I'm like the 12 o'clock. Yes, 345 uh, p.m. in Nepal. So, I'm like the 12 o'clock. So, that's why I'm like the 12 o'clock. मोबाइल में वर्ल्ड क्लक में फिनलैंड को टाइम सेट कर सो इट विल शो यू द एक्जैक्ट टाइम यू डोट हेव टू रिलाय ऑन अदर्स हेलो मैडम दि दया राम खड़कास इज इट पॉसिबल टू पोस्ट पोन स्टडी प्लेस मोर देन वन इयर इन यूएस इन फिनलैंड नो इट इज नट पॉसिबल एंड देन इट इज नट पॉसिबल इन द फर्स्ट इयर एज वेल सो बट द यूनिवर्सिटी विल गिव यू दि आंसर्स आई सी आई आंसर द क्वेश्चन विदउट even telling that this is not related to the entrance question okay um wait i think i skipped another question also uh is the writing good time my specific time huncha ani beech ma line off bhayo pani ke huncha pachi submit garna yadi tapai ko beech ma time off line gayo bhan dekhi ra tapai ko tyo ke bhancha diyeko time still baki cha bhane chai you can again log in tara tapai ko time sidhi sakya cha bhane tapai le feri submit garna mildaina jasto lagcha mala tesai le chai tyo sake samma tapai ko electricity ani internet connection chai continue rakhnu hola Uh, could you please go and check yes uh, can you please write it again mm. uh, past time boy written part but worried for this group discussion okay all right all the best sena yuki ko application kaile samma cha ma'am separate ko sena yuki ko ta sakisakyo hola usko ta exam ta bhaisakyo anis anis if you check us exam website it says group discussion and written part will be in second phase in first a uh, phase only passage and reading comprehension comprehensive will come if i understand it well okay is it so then i think i should read read it again or okay could be 345 yeah ma'am uh It has been some negative marking in the English phase. If essay comes to write, how would they de- deduct for uh, judge for negative points? I am also not very sure. Yes, it has mentioned that uh, for the Finnish and Swedish also, and then English also, wrong answers produce minus points. They have written it. I think it's not for the written part, but then it's for the um, for the uh, objective questions like true, false, or or uh, the, the the ones that can be marked uh, objectively. the question that can be marked object objectively uh oh nice sachan chandrest has written niranjan chetri 345 means good difference so 12 finish bani ko 345 pm i start hun so that true uh, so rob sharma is there any subject where we don't have to give exam of mathematics uh no no i don't think so uh, basic maths to na 
When do we need to uh, write motivational letter? What would your answer be if they ask you why Finland? So if they ask you why Finland, then it should be uh, your own genuine reasons why you have chosen Finland. It could be because of the excellent uh, um, uh, education system that you feel, or it can be the, the Nordic welfare system that you are interested about, or that uh, the, the country itself is very beautiful and it's snowy in the winter and you like snowy winter. So it could be also your reasons but whatever you say you need to be very convincing with your answers your your answers should should uh, uh, give the uh, the reader or the interviewer or whoever uh, is asking you the questions the feeling that yes you are genuinely motivated to study in finland and that you are capable enough and then uh, to write motivational letters. So uh, for master's degree programs, you are required to write motivational letters as a part of the entrance examination or the in, as a part of the uh, application process. But for the uh, bachelor's, you don't have to write motivational letter as such. But then uh, again, if they ask you why Finland or if they ask you why this program, then this is also a kind of motivational question. So you need to pair this with. Um, Class becomes a um, three years for bachelor eligible to master's math like uh, Yes, it is. How, how hard is the selection process for master's degree admission? Again, this is uh, not related to the entrance examinations um, uh, for joint application. So we can discuss about it in, in our other um, live sessions. Please join me again for, for, uh, for these sessions. Today, I'm strictly um, focusing on the joint application only. I'm really very sorry for this. Sorry for the inconvenience. Mani Lama, ma'am, exact time. Mani exam ko link kholnu parsa ho. Ek ganta agari, but a kholna milsa bani ko sa. if you log in too early, the open ferry time jan un saksa. So by ferry reload gonu bani un saksa. But keep trying it. Ta una likhe bani sa bani. So by if they log you out, then you will have to refresh it. Refresh F5 there and this was the. So by ferry jan sa hun sa bani. Don't go too early to log out. When you log in, you can no longer log in. So, until there is time uh, running out, you can log in, but then you may not finish the task on time. On the stress, the sum co separate app exams I call you. Uh, I have no idea about it. Uh, you have, you will get anyway the invitation from the university itself. So please keep checking the link if you have applied to it or are planning to apply. Examale, Borkare, Pomp, he got it a boy, and he don't know about you. A polter check got dinus nai. Borkare, Pomp, he got a good one, he don't know about you. Check got dinus nai, Bonale. Uh, anyone applied in bachelor's in mechanical engineering? Okay, how to prepare for entrance examination? Please, uh, uh, Mahendra Parazali, welcome. Uh, please re, uh, play this video uh, again after the live stream ends. I have discussed uh, very well about the content of the entrance examination, so you can prepare accordingly. Uh, motivational letter my study sakhi pachi Nepal nai farki nai bhanera lekhnu parcha Nepal nai farki nai bhanera lekhnu parcha bhanne chaina that's a cliche tara pani aba tapai le home country sanga ko ties dekhaunu da heri ramro koi koi manche testai pari halyo jo chai alikati racist cha adwa sabai manche haru yaha chai hamro desh ma chai aera chai bhana le sabai manche haru yahi basne mentality le auncha bhanne halko ab gun ho chai tha hudaina da tyo karan le aba kasai le tyo angle bada pani tapai la judge garnu khojcha bhanne dekhi you have at least some kind of ties to to your homeland. career prospects Business college, I think, is still free of cost. Um, vocational education is free of cost. Uh, yes, that is free of cost. Vocational education is free of cost for all students. You outside questions. I'm I'm because you're interviewing. So interview you matter on group interview to matter on so you have a written you to matter on so 
यूनिवर्सिटी इंटरव्यू पे एमबीसी इंटरव्यू चाहे सो एमबीसी इंटरव्यू इज रिलेटेड टू योर रेजिडेंस परमिट इंटरव्यू इट्स इट्स वे आफ्टर यू रिसीव द ऑफर लेटर हम कति एंट्रांस इक्जामिनेसन एमबेसी इंटरव्यू कता हो एमबेसी में होता एमबेसी इंटरव्यू इंडिया जान पर्दे में होनलाइन मेल एमबेसी इंटरव्यू होना तब फिजिकल इंटरव्यू हो आयुष गेमिंग मैम एन एक्जाम टाइम फोर आवर्स मैथ इंग्लिस मोटिवेशन भिडियो को टाइम कसरी मेन्टेन करने सेपरेट को एक्जाम को लगी सो सेपरेट को एक्जाम को लगी उ कसो सेपरेटली ना मतलब सेपरेटली ना तब इमेल आक हो यूएस इन जो जोइंट एप्लीकेशन को जोइंट एक्जामिनेसन छोड़ उ सेंसन वाइज टाइम छुटा तब टाइम अंतर्गत भ्या रहा नभ्याने टाइम राखे जो मैं लगे सो तब सकू भ्या सकूँ भ्यान जहांसम लगे नभ्या तो उन्देन स्टूडेंटर से नोकी को फर्म भाया ओके मैम कजिन ब्रदर ने स्पोन्सर राख्ता हो ना अब्रोड में आई एम रियली भेरी सरी आई कैंट आंसर यू दिस क्वेश्चन टुडे क्योंकि हम एंट्रांस एक्जामिनेसन में मत फोकस कर रहा सौ सो प्लिज जोइ मी इन द लाइव नेक्स्ट टाइम फर क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस क्लासिक अंजन सेपरेट एप्लीकेशन को सोशल वर्क रिटेड कोर्स को मैम फर द मस्टर्स डिग्री मस्टर्स डिग्री को लगी तो मैं ठा भेन अलग बट यू कैन स्टडी चेक इट इन स्टडी इन फो डट एफ आई स्टूडेंट भिजा बा पीआर लिना को लगी कति को सजी है प्रोसेस के फर द पीआर प्लिज चेक माई अदर भिडियोज टूडे आई एम नट टेकिंग क्वेश्चन अपार्ट फ्रम दी जोइंट एप्लीकेशन और प्लिज जोइन मी इन सम अदर टाइम अमीन बज्राचार्य स्टूडेंट भिजा बा पीआर लिना कति को ओके आई आई टू दिस क्वेश्चन So, funny comment has uh, retracted the message. It's been one hour and eleven uh, minutes now. I think I should now wrap up the the live streaming because um, the questions here are also finished. And I hope I have given you uh, useful and enough information about the entrance examination. Um, so far, I know. Um, I wish you all the very best for your uh, examination. uh i hope you will you will manage well you will prepare well and then manage well and and then and get selected uh in the uh degree program that you have applied to and congratulations has written thank you so very much <laughs> um all right so uh i hope the 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 this video will be useful to you and Also, please subscribe to my channel. So keep watching my other videos as well. I have uploaded a few new videos there. Um, there have been changes in my personal life as well. So I have posted videos about my own life changes as well there in the YouTube. So uh, Elisa, ha- Elisa has congratulated me for the same. Thank you so much uh, for watching my videos, and then thanks for your best wishes as well. And thank you, thank you so much, Vinod Pokhrel as well. Thank you very much. All right so I should end the live stream here mm. take care and all the very best for your examination all right